Hello people, I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Acharya Kirk, and we're gonna look at the teaser trailer to Achara. Yes, that's right. I got that correct. No screw-ups there at all. I got a funny feeling. This is starring megastar Chiranjeevi and uh, also Koratala Siva. And it's written, in, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. It's written and directed by Koratala Siva. And uh, it's also starring Niranjan Reddy. Producers are in a... Can't get it right today at all. It's not just the title. Take that back a little bit. Acharya teaser starring megastar Chiranjeevi, written and directed by Koratala Siva. It's produced by Niranjan Reddy and Ram Charan. So, uh, here hey. we go. My God, you can see like the grain of the fabric. That's crazy. Damn. God. Wow. What yeah. 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 Sairana Narasimha yeah, already? Yeah, Sairana Narasimha already. It looks, so, it looks so different to me. But I'm, it has a lot to do with the fact that his hair was really, really long there. So. This looks so cool. Like, just in terms of the way it's shot. I mean, I know we say this every time. Like, practically every time we watch we a don't say it every trailer, time. We don't say it every time. But, like, it is often that you just see beautiful cinematography uh, with, with the uh, Telugu films. Yeah. It's like, I don't even know how you're able to see so much detail like when they went in for a close-up on the fabric like you could literally see the weave of the fabric when he's stepping out of that puddle or whatever or the puddle of blood you see the individual droplets like everything looks so sharp and beautiful it's like hyper real well uh, part of it is the fact that they uh, put the trailer out in 4k and this is essentially a 4k monitor oh that totally makes sense so it looks gorgeous you're... it's probably gonna look less gorgeous for you guys watching it in our reaction <laughs> so go and watch it well if you're watching it on your phone I mean yeah you know it's not gonna have the same sort of impact as it would on a 38 inch monitor yeah so so definitely click the link in the description and like Go check it out on yeah. a proper but screen. You, you know what I was getting uh, envious about, though, was those drone shots. <laughs> <laughs> Jabby's been playing with a drone lately, and I, I've been trying to get a handle on the damn thing. It's like, They're obviously using way more state-of-the-art equipment than I am, because I'm using something that is consumer-grade. But, like, this is... Whatever they're using is obviously, like, for uh, much bigger stuff than what Jabby's doing, which is just, you know playing by himself. The hope is to be able to use it towards something creative, but I'm w looking at those drone shots, I'm like, can I do that? Can I do that? Is there a way I can do that? And it's not just pulling off the drone shots for like the operator behind it, right? It's also the coordination of the drivers in the cars. Oh it, yeah. It's like a dance choreography in a way, because like this one is like with the trucks like going in a, in a line, and and also the colors are just popping off they the screen. They are, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's just like in the wild like that, or if it's, set, it's like some kind of increased saturation in post. I would imagine that it's a little bit of both where, yeah. you know, in real life it does have that sort of vibrance, but like they're really like just pushing the dials in uh, in post to draw it out even more. Yeah, and you've got like all those cool particles as well. Like when he stabbed the dude with the spear and then all of a sudden this red powder came out. Yeah. And it was like, it just looks so beautiful. I'm thinking, okay, well, what's the story? Um, <laughs> whatever it's a really cool action movie Do you, you know what i mean like he's he's selling badass and i'm totally buying it so i mean i think that's pretty obvious i liked that line where he was like they call me acharya but i'm not a teacher but i'll give you a lesson i'm like oh well if that's not a catchphrase i don't know what is it's pretty cool i think I'll, maybe i'll start using that they call me achara I'm not a pickle. 
but I'll make you sour. <laughs> so stupid. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, it made you laugh. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? No, I wasn't. I you, that was actually clever. <laughs> All right, so we've got the uh, trailer here in front of us. I just want to go through it bit by bit here. Uh, I just think it's, it looks so gorgeous. Yeah, trailer. like that, that cool okay, drone so, shot. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. see? And that drone's got some distance on it. That That's well beyond, you know, the range that you normally get with like a... <laughs> Super great with, drone. With your drone that you got, yeah. I mean, this is that's what I'm talking about. Like, how are they? And that might be a helicopter shot. No, but, look at the way it's moving. That's a. Yeah. Or it's just in post. I'm not sure. Uh, I like this. People who live for others are no less than God. Every single one of these shots, though, it just pops. And yeah. So they, the way they do it is they. I mean, they obviously have beautiful lighting going on. And, yeah, and, I love and, that, the, you know, the shafts of the, light the, coming through. The colors are very carefully chosen, but in addition to that, what you do is you increase the contrast, you decrease your highlights. Like, I don't, this this right here is, I would imagine that if they're, if they're doing this like professionally, they're shooting all this like in log. Right. Which means you're getting a flat color profile and determining what you're doing in post. And they're really, really crafting the way every single shot looks in post production. Yeah. And so you're you're lowering your highlights, you're lowering your 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 brights, and uh, you're increasing your contrast and increasing saturation and vibrance. And that's why every single one of these just looks like like an Instagram photo or something. Yeah, it just, it just looks stunning. And But then like they've made it really bright here, whereas like in that previous scene, I don't know if that was because it was, you know, the past or if it's just like a different type of vibe that they're going for, but that one seemed a little bit darker. But then they're back in with like, I guess the slightly darker colors. So maybe that's just the color palette that they're going for in this movie. It's like- This is a great shot by the way. It's, yeah. I mean, it's just the like, what do you call it? The, um, all the swords that are sort of crowding the frame as yeah. it moves towards, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Infinity's that way, right? Forward. So this way, I don't know what you call the opposite direction, but it just go, goes into obscurity and uh, becomes more and more um, out of focus as it gets closer to the yeah. frame. Because the focus is really that guy's hand right there with the light on it. Exactly. And so everything beyond that's out of focus, everything before that's mostly out of focus. And it's just gorgeous. Like all, just, it's so, I don't know, it's, it's delicious looking, <laughs> you know. It's in terms of delicious. in terms of just cinematography, it just yeah. looks awesome. You got uh, yeah, like uh, this is like how do you get that shot right there? You got to plan it. all these extras with yep. the sunlight at, at like golden hour, the exact time of day. You know? And this, like, I guess you're right. We are looking at it in 4K. Like you can see his skin so beautifully, like every single pore, every single wrinkle. As a woman, I don't love it, but for him, it's working. Yeah. And like the the fabric, I'm uh, wow, it's well, popping. What you're dealing with the texture there. What you're dealing with is um, it's it's obviously shot in high resolution. I would imagine that it's it's quite possible they shot this in 8K. Mm. And one other thing they're doing that I just realized is they're probably increasing the sharpness. And so oh, when, right. you, when you increase sharpness, if any one of you can do this, if you just take a picture on Instagram and increase sharpness, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's why the pores on his face are standing out more. The the particular curvature of his face, all that stuff is yeah. popping more because of the increase in sharpness. And so that's not the most flattering thing that you necessarily want. That, but, I don't but, do that on but, my face. You know, for his, <laughs> for his character and for this particular situation, it actually is working in its favor, like you said. Yeah. I think that um, the makeup on his face is a little bit, um, more apparent than I would necessarily like, but I, it's you know. hard when when you're doing HD. Yeah. Like, well, this is well beyond HD. Yeah. This is four times HD. Exactly. So like you see everything. Yeah. But um, I like the the wind effects that they're doing here. This, sh oh, this stuff. Oh, this like, is amazing. The, the use of slow motion in here just looks awesome. You see the individual drops, just like boop 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 yeah. boop boop boop, just falling down. I didn't notice this the first time. He's holding someone there. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. I didn't see um, that either. And, and so this particular shot right here has a very mythological yes. sort of vibe to the whole thing. I mean, with the eclipse in the background and this epic sized weapon that is like the, the, I think the weapon of a god. Exactly. You know, I mean, all of this just looks so epic. Um, in addition to like the slow-mo dolly and all that stuff. Yeah. The way he threw this stunt guy into the tree, the, well, that, you know, that was painful to look at because I don't know, 
I, I, maybe it was done in such a way that it didn't hurt the guy, but it looked like he just got pulled on a yeah. cable straight into that tree. Just get and it's like, dude, you just gotta, yeah, you just gotta take it, man. And what's also probably helping is the fact that they have a fan on them at the same time. Uh, because if you look at the guy's shirt, it's like the, the fan is kind of going through his shirt. Right. Just to give it that extra punch of like, that's how powerful this character is, is that wind is blowing. See that? And like, you've got the drama of the water droplets coming down as well. I don't know if they're coming down from the tree or if it's like rain. This, this stuff, like, shot. With the color. Yeah. With the holy. Gorgeous. Yeah, I mean. Like, it's just like, why? I don't care. But it like, looks pretty. Even this right here has that sort of uh, myth like mythological, mythological, you know, vibe to the whole thing. It's so beautifully staged. Like he's got his one leg on top of the of the guy's knee. He's leaning back. It, yeah. It's very dramatic. And right. then he comes in with his. I don't know what he's got, like an axe or something. Yeah. But I dig it. Yeah, the colors are definitely bordering on unnatural. I yeah. Mean, they, like this hue of of A blue, uh, green blue in the background. Yeah. And they're. They, I think they've got. I don't know if it's natural or they, they had like had a smoke machine to achieve that sort of look, but um, it looks great. It just, it looks awesome to me. Even though it looks artificial to some extent, it looks great to me. Well, it's know? like what I was saying, like it almost feels like it's hyper real. Like yeah. it feels real, but like with extra. Yeah, it's. I think maybe it's just that they're really, really cranking that saturation and sharpness up. Yeah. So. But, you know, you've got the, the hero action yeah. as the, well. The one thing I will say though is uh, in, in Saira Narasimham, Naras, Narasim, Narasimha? Narasimha Reddy, that movie, I didn't realize his age at all. I didn't realize how old he was. That's true. Um, and so here I am getting a stronger sense that he is older, even though his face, he doesn't look older. He moves like someone who is older. Uh, a little bit here when he's when he's moving these guys around. It's like it's clearly clearly the stunt guys are doing a lot of the legwork here, and he's not cool. doing a whole lot. Yeah, I mean that that stunt guy on the left and even the stunt guy on the right, like they're really selling it. Yeah. you know they're like, oh man. Yeah, um, I but nevertheless, like I'm definitely intrigued with this project and and want to watch it after watching Syrah. I, I want I definitely want to watch this. So I'm definitely into it because it's like only one letter away from my name. <laughs> So, I mean, at this point, this might be the it's closest so... movie ever to be made about me. That's so vain. But not about me. I'm joking. All right. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. And, uh, yep, check out Acharya on the social media. That's me. Her YouTube channel, youtube.com slash A-C-H-A-R-A. And, um, check, oh, check uh, out my movie we, we also, when it comes out in the theaters. We, we also have a live stream channel now, uh, youtube.com slash jabby live. Yes. So make sure you subscribe there to be part of the live streams. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.